hey guys i'm rachel and welcome back to my channel so today we are doing the what am i like as a subscriber tag i saw this going around and i was like i wanna i wanna jump on it i wanna actually um do it so i tagged myself hello i don't have such a big following yet where i feel like i can do a q a or anything like that so i feel like that's a nice way to kind of get to know me a little bit more as well so let's jump into this tag okay so i have the questions written down so let me start so the first question is how long does it take you to subscribe and it takes me a while to subscribe it really does um there are some some uh youtubers and videos that i see instantly and i'm like damn from the first video i get a vibe i'm all about a personality i kind of have to feel connected to you so i'll watch the first from the first video i see with some people i'm like damn they caught me and i'll watch some others and see what the channel is about and i'll subscribe immediately and there are others where i probably like their content but i don't feel like i connect with them enough so it might take me a while to subscribe so it really depends on what's out there and the um the content creator that would sway me to subscribe the next question is do you turn your notification bell on and yes because if it takes me a while to subscribe to you or, or i'm loving what it is you're doing i want to know when you upload it because i don't have time and patience to be looking for you on youtube so i make it easy for myself so once i'm subscribed i am turning that bell on because i want to know when you upload and speaking of that turn your bells on when you subscribe to me please it makes it easier for me because since you're subscribing to me you like what i'm doing so far turn the bell on so that when i upload you are notified okay 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 so question number three is do you comment on videos and yes i do it all depends on my mood and where i'm actually looking at the video from because i can't be using my computer or my phone or i look at it on my tv sometimes so if i'm looking at it on my tv i may not i may not leave a comment if i'm really busy i will not leave a comment but i would say i comment like 50 50 percent of the time on videos that's why personality is very big to me because a lot of times i comment is because of um the content creator saying something that i identify to or it's just nice to hear um other people feeling the same way you feel about something or doing the same things you do with certain things and whatever the case might be so when i connect that way i like to um i like to comment question number four does the make you subscribe mantra sways you to subscribe and no it doesn't but i think it is important to do it because honestly youtube is like the second biggest search engine out there google is the first one and i still feel like me being a youtube um a content creator as well and a viewer and i come across people and stuff who who just does not know that they have to subscribe and who does not know how to subscribe and it's so it's so weird that they do not know um hit the bell and things like that so i i don't think it sways me but i think it's it's um it's good to have it so that people who do not really know know what to do when they come to your your channel and they see things that they like and they want to subscribe they will subscribe and they will know all right let me hit this and hit the bell and things like that so it doesn't sway me but i think it is very important to have it question five is do you watch every video from your sub feed or only your favorites and honestly if i'm subscribed to you and i'm hitting that bell is because i want to see what you create so i do have favorites i do have favorites and when i'm going through my feeds i tend to click on my favorites first and then there's another part to that as well as you can be one of my favorite but I, i'm just not interested in the content that you created this time so i just would not look at it you know what i mean i would look at others that i'm more interested in and maybe later on i'll come back and look at at you because i like your content and i like your personality and things like that so that's basically it i basically watch my favorite topics first and i go into the others question six how many channels you never miss an upload for no matter how busy you are and like in the past in the past there has been 
um, content creators that I never missed their uploads. But as I got busier, that sort of changed, interest changed and things like that. But off the top of my head, Jacqueline Hill was one of my favorite, favorite YouTubers. She still is. Um, and in the past, I never missed her upload. She was one of the YouTubers. I, I'm pretty sure I looked at all of her videos. Pretty, pretty sure I did. After Jacqueline Hill, you have uh, Makeup Shayla and Amanda Ensing, Raw, Raw Beauty Christy, um, Kathleen Lights. Like, I love their personality and stuff so much that I always look at the content and that goes back to the other question of i look at the content first but they might put something out that i'm not interested in and i will not look at it so so at this moment there isn't any content creator out there that i never miss their upload like i said it just goes back to what content that they put out that i would want to watch question seven do you skip ads or do you watch so it depends on the length of the ad and because I know you get paid on your ads and stuff like that I have sort of a soft heart I like to think of others so I'm like you know let the ad play and it depends on the time that I have as well for example I like looking at YouTube videos when I, I am getting ready myself so I just leave the ad to play or I'm probably doing something and it's in the background so it could play but if I'm there and like I'm looking at my feeds and I had other things doing and I never I didn't have time to probably go through my subscription in a couple of days and when I'm in my feed I'm seeing all this this content that I want to watch that are interesting I will skip the ads because I just want to get to to the um I just want to get to the juice of the video I don't want all the ads to be playing so it's it's a give and take with the skipping the ads question eight is do you speed up videos and hell yes I do that is why I do not do long intros and I tend to say more in my outro, which probably most people don't get to anyway. But I try to create videos based on um, a, a subscriber. Um, I try to say, you know what, I don't like it for myself, so I'm not trying to do it in my videos. You know what I mean? So I don't do long intros because I hate looking at a two minute intro. You understand what I'm saying? So I, I would speed up an intro. I definitely will speed up an intro or a certain part of the video that I'm just like, you know what, let me just get to something else or whatever. So yes, I do speed up videos. I am guilty as charged. <laughs> Question number nine is, do you click affiliated links and use codes? And that's like maybe 10% of the time because I, most times I do, I do my own makeup shopping. I buy my makeup. I don't get PR or anything like that as yet and um i do forget to use um links just generally i forget to look for codes and stuff like that where you can save money and i always beat myself up about it i hardly ever use affiliated links and codes because i forget they exist but what i do is during a video um i will go to the description box and make sure you check my my description box as well because i do have live information there we go through the trouble of leaving information of my links of my social media of how to book me because i am a nail tech and i'm a working makeup artist out here in brooklyn good plugging let's say they spoke about a product that i'm interested in i would go to the description box see if they actually left a link um see where i can get it from and probably put it in my cart and things like that so that's basically it question number are we on 10 10 10 uh, your preference when it comes to videos. What's your sweet spot? So I love get ready with me videos I love favorite videos and things like that um, And my sweet spot is maybe 20 minutes About 20 minutes that's another thing I don't keep I try not to make my videos too long because I do believe adults has ADD they do not you do not keep their attention for long so i like to keep it short and sweet and like i said i try to make my videos as a viewer as a subscriber as well um because there are content creators out there that i love but when i'm i'm like i haven't looked at my subscription for a very like maybe a couple of days and i'm there to look and i'm scrolling there and i saw my one of my favorite youtubers has a video that is 30 minutes long and i feel like i don't have time to watch that i will look at another one that's 
about 20 minutes long and that's another thing when i'm going through my feed i look at the timestamp on a video before i actually look at it so i would look at okay that one is 10 minutes this one is 12 this one is 13 so i will look at those the videos that are shorter first and leave those that are longer for when i'm actually like i have more time and it's a topic where i'm very interested in it and it's longer and i'm probably looking at the video when i'm getting ready and i probably won't absorb all the information so i will look at that video when i'm actually home from work one night where i can sit down and relax and grab a snack and and look at that video so my sweet spot is 20 minutes um for a video because what happens is sometimes i do forget to look at a video that is more than 20 minutes long guilty question 11 do you do you thumbs up videos? Of course I do. I thumbs up videos more than I comment on videos, especially, I mean, once I like it, I would always give it, a, give it a thumbs up. Like it takes nothing to thumbs up a video. And I also do it for support, you know, especially like I'm like, I'm just in starting off in YouTube and I have other um, subscribers with me who just started off as well. You know, I show support. It's a way of showing support and I like supporting it, um, others. So I do give it a thumbs up when I know I cannot comment. Question 12 says, do you thumbs down videos? And no, I do not. And I, <laughs> I have a video on my channel where I saw a thumbs down and I was like, ah, I got a thumbs down. And it was like kind of exciting to me. Weird. I know, but I'm like, somebody actually didn't like the video. I did not take any offense to it. It was like, oh, somebody didn't like it, whatever. But I don't thumbs down videos, except it is something that is just really against what i believe in or whatever but i believe everyone has their own opinion and their own views and stuff and i try to respect that um so in the case of um probably someone putting content out there that i just do not agree with or whatever i don't even comment on things like that honestly and i just don't thumbs down needed it has to be really really like drastic for me to actually thumbs down a video i know there are a lot of haters out there who probably do it just to hate and to be honest me just getting my first thumbs down never bothered me i don't think anything like that would bother me because everybody cannot like and will not like everything that you're doing so um just me being the type of person that i am i just don't thumbs it down if i don't like it i just don't do anything and i just don't so it's don't say anything about it just leave it like that last and final question is do you share other youtube videos on your social media and the answer is no speaking of which share my videos please <laughs> i do not share and it's not for any malice malicious reason or anything like that i'm just like like I say, I take, I, I have so much uh, videos to look at in my feeds that I don't have time to share. It has to be something really, really that get that caught my, you know, something that moved me for me to share that content. And so I just never do it and it never clicks to me. Oh, share that content anyway. I just feel like, you know, we see the similar things everywhere, which is, which is not good for me. You guys, you need to share my videos. It's how I would grow. You know what I mean? But if I'm not doing it, I'm pretty sure some of the larger followers or oh, they have people who do it, but I just, I don't do it. And I just, I just forget to do it most of the time. So Honestly. that is the end of the, what am I like as a subscriber tag? I hope it, you enjoyed it. It was nice sitting here talking to you guys. And I hope in some way that you did get to know me just a little bit, just a little bit, maybe eventually, hopefully eventually we can do a Q and A when I get, you know, more subscribers and more following, when I have more interest in people wanting to know me more. Hi, if you're new here, my name is Rachel. Welcome to my family. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and hit the bell so that you do not miss my notifications. Links on my social media links and how to book me because I am a nail tech and a working makeup artist out here in Brooklyn will be in the description box. So check out my work. And, um, Let's continue to uh, touch the world one face at a time. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on sometimes Wednesdays, always Sundays. <laughs> Bye guys.